Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be taking on the mission Face-Off, one of the hardest missions in the game, and have already set up the teams. We have our Navy boy, we have our Bakora boy, we have everybody that's coming. These are our best troops. I mean, Esperoba is pretty cool too. I gave him Labyrinth Tank and Machine King. Um, I don't know if I changed anyone else's teams. I think that's basically all I did, was I gave him Labyrinth Tank and Machine King. So let's go ahead and dive on into Face Off. Um, I've already given people their items. I felt like it was important to do that. I'll save just so I don't have to put it on them again. Um, I already gave everyone their items and stuff. I wanted to save time because this is a big mission. Um, and it's actually a really tough mission too. You gotta be careful. Here it is. So Yugi, you've come. I love this scene. Kaiba, tell me why you're helping Scott. Words have such little value on the battlefield. It doesn't matter what I say. You and I are destined to fight. Right here, right now. If you really want to know, you'll have to defeat me first. Then you leave me no choice. That's right, guys. We're taking on Seto Kaiba, the master of blue eyes. Let's get it going. So, first forces that are coming after us. Um, we're going to send Taya to deal with one of them. And Bakora needs levels, so we're going to send Bakora to deal with the other. There we go. And Bakora will be dealing with the first officer. This guy is really strong, so we'll see how it goes. Um, he's got two Gilsha the D-Knight, and he's got a Kaiser Dragon. Luckily, our Ansatsu has an item that buffs him against dragons, so this is a good setup. Uh, he's, he's had the item, like, all game. I just never really got a dragon to fight. We have Panther Warrior, who literally is just super busted, because he's only, like, level 6, I think, and he's this strong. And let's see if we can finish this guy immediately. It would be nice if we could. Honestly, my magician here, he's not the strongest guy in the game, but... Oh, yeah, he's... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I forgot he got... We got Book of Secret Arts. Soul Spear. This could suck. Yep. Yep, I was right about the suckage. That does suck. He gets two attacks in a row. Wait, he gets two attacks in a row. Who said that was legal? Who authorized this? All right, Panther Warrior. Let's see. Let's take out the other guy, since that guy already used all of his attacks anyway. We can finish, see if we can finish off this guy before he gets off two attacks. Alright, getting unlucky. They really hate Panther Warrior, my god. Getting very unlucky there. If I could kill this guy off, the other guy would only be able to kill Panther Warrior with a crit. Which we don't want to see anyone die, but this would just prevent that from happening. So, eh. One Gilsha the D-Knight is dead. And now, on Satsu and them, we'll finish off this guy, and then we just need to do a little healing. Because this this took out... Ooh, nice, another crit. This this took out a lot more HP than we wanted. Yeah, Legendary Sword. Heck yeah! Alright, first enemy down. Granted, we did have an advantage against that enemy. Normally, that one would have been a little stronger. But Korra's troops are actually pretty good. Oh, Panther Warrior gets another attack! Oh, he's so good. Such a busted monster. I think he'll suit uh, Bakora's team well. I know, you. it's like... but. But Joey, it's like, screw it, Joey's fine. He doesn't need it. Blue medicine up our boys. There we go, and Taya's on the way over there. And Yugi, you have a job too. Get to the center of the map. It's the most important thing in the world. Send your strongest troop to the center of the map. In our case, that's Yugi. And Yugi's gonna do his absolute best in the center. Uh, send Bakor... Oh, shit, didn't have time. Uh, now that Bakor's beaten that troop, you should probably send him back to base. He's not exactly necessary for what's left. Um, okay, this is... Wow, this is just Weevil Underwood's team with a little bit of Paradox Brothers. Interesting. I'm pretty sure none of these enemies are, uh, spirit monsters. They all look like beast or insect or whatever this game would call them. But, yeah, they were... None of them were. Wormblaze, a little annoying, but we could take it. Oh, Suijin, no! Don't hurt our Suijin. All right, Suijin, Raging Waters. Honestly, of all these enemies, just kill the Dungeon Worm. Like, Insect Queen only gets two attacks anyway. I'm not scared of her. Honestly, that and because in order for her to attack, she must eat one of her troops, so it makes her that team super... I'm joking. Could you imagine? I was I was trying to play that off like it was like legit. Oh, come on. But could you imagine if she's not allowed to attack unless she eats one of her own troops? Like, that would be the worst character, the worst monster in the game. Unless those attacks would be like, oh, my attack hits all enemies and it does, like, more than half their health. Other than that, it's the worst ca character in the game. Like, hello, I'm Insect Queen. I have to eat both my troops just to attack. Alright, Wormblaze, there we go. 
That miss is going to cost us, isn't it? It's already costing us. Alright, Sunga. Try again. But this time, don't suck. There you go. 300 damage. We actually need more than that. Queen's Inferno Breath. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Energy Beam. Alright, I like Energy Beams. Perfect. Different colored Energy Beam than anything we've seen, too. Let's just go ahead and do a little bit more Raging Waters. I don't like that warm. Oh, he barely lived. That dick. Scissor Boomerang. And let's Midgar Volt the Worm. That way it never gets another attack off. Cost me an extra attack, Sangha. You really did. You know that? All right. Raging Waters. Let's take out the Queen. That's our biggest threat. Our goal is to try and take out all these enemies. But right now, the Queen would be a nice, uh, uh, nice prize. Thunder Point Blast. I think I'm going to need to use another Power of Nature. This is not enough to win the fight. The other guy just guarded. Luckily, they spent most of their turns guarding, which for them might actually give them a lot of points. Nope, not even close to enough. Not even close. I think it gives you a lot more points in the early game. Like, when you're playing this game at the very beginning, when everyone's like level, what the fuck? Why? Why have I been so unlucky? Why am I missing all my attacks? Why does the game hate me, everybody? Why does the game hate me? What is going on? I did not power of nature to just miss all my attack. Now this guy's almost winning. Because I just decided to miss all of a sudden. It's going to take an extra battle to kill this guy. What a waste. I mean, I could just use the rest of my power of natures, but I want to save that for the other people in this freaking place. You know, you don't know. I don't know how strong this uh, enemies are how strong these enemies are going to be. Well, Taya, you won the fight, but it doesn't feel like it. That was an extremely unlucky turn. Everyone's leveling up at least, so that's good news. Alright, and now let's... Uh, instant battle, perfect! That's exactly what we wanted. An instant fight. Just kill off the Hercules Beetle. Sure, our, and our troops are not the strongest right now. I'm not going to buff them. We're going to have to do our actual natural attacks on this enemy. Which is three, almost 300 damage. Holy crap, she's fine. And we're going to wait out the guard. Yeah, just let him do an attack on us. I can heal mid bat. Uh, I mean, while everyone else is moving around the map. 200 damage. Taya does not like that, but she'll be fine. There we go. Good old water gun. Sangha, good old thunderbolt. And yeah, it's still going to take two more. God damn. You know what? Break his guard. I don't even care. He does have 2,000 defense, though, so this might be hard to break. Yep, it's, yeah, his mon that monster has good defense. Better than Dark Witch's actual attack. And we broke the guard. It just took two different attacks to make it happen. This guy really likes guarding, doesn't he? Let's see if we can get a crit, since we got two misses in a row. Now, oh, okay, they let us attack again. It's fine. It's all good. We don't need to take any more damage. This guy was just a little extra annoying for some reason. His uh, Weevil troop is gone. Sorry about this, uh, Kaiba boy. I don't know why Scott gave you all these weird troops that, like, resemble other people. Let's see. I'm gonna need to heal Taya up. She did take quite a bit of a beating. More than she should have. Yeah. You know what? Full health. Why not? All right, so let's see the enemy troops. This one is good against ground enemies, and this one... But Korra, go back to base. I'm pretty sure they're both good against ground enemies. Is good against ground enemies. So if they're good against ground enemies, who do you send out? Simple. You send out Mako Goddamn Tsunami. Yeah, he's a sea enemy. That doesn't count. And you send out that guy, and Yugi's still heading towards the middle of the map. This map, this is a very big mission, guys. I should be sending out my other troops, too, just to be ready. Um, but I don't have time, because I'm already in battle. So, let's see what we can do here. Ooh, interesting. Red-Eyes Black Dragon and double Sword Stalker. That could be a problem. And the Sword Stalkers have decided to guard. You know, I did just get a new item. I kind of want to see what Ryoku does. So, let's try it. Ryoku! It is supposed to take the power of two of my troops to make me stronger, right? 
Ooh, both of them lost half their... I don't like that. Wait a minute. Not a big fan. Hold up. <laughs> Losing half my health on two of my members just to make one member stronger. That's quite the... I was just making fun of freaking... Um... Oh, I did buy Dying Care of the Cure Master. I gave this to him to try it out. Dude! Okay, triple heal. We'll take it. How much does he heal? Oh, broken. All your health back. Oh, Dying Care is actually broken. You know what? Kill Red Ice. Whale hail! This is an ice type attack. You take four times damage. Eh, I didn't do that. Damn. Alright, Dark Slash. We're going to take one of these eventually. Eh, well, our whale's really tanky. So let's try out one of our powered up attacks. Let's see how strong it is. Five set. Really? For how much that item cost, I don't think that's worth it. 570, it, it could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot better. Alright. Well, at least he's at a point where I can kill him with uh, Octo Burser. I'm just going to aim at this guy. Take this, Sword Stalker. Whale Hail! I'm glad my Will actually has three attacks, because Aqua Dragon having two sucks. And his final fireball. I'm sorry, sir. I resist that. Oh, no. I'm part machine. I'm part steel type. I, I'm water steel. Like a Empoleon or something. Damn. Octoburst or finish off Red Eyes. Eh. Oh, I got a low roll on damage. You know what? Uh, well, hell. God damn it. I got a low roll on damage. Ryoku sucks. I thought it would be better. Costing half our health just to do that. That's, that's really sad. I thought my guy was stronger than that. Alright, Dark Slash of Resentment. Good, attacked Octoburser. He's got a huge HP stack because I've been leveling him up the entire game. Um, Let's just finish off that guy over there. I'm not going to be able to win the fight with the water troops. The only time my water troops are busted is on the sea itself. Which is funny because I'm sending Yugi to go fight the Roman monster, which is on the sea. But if the monster is so strong, I don't recommend sending Mako to deal with it. And we still get one extra attack. Cool. Yeah. Sword Stalker will survive, but not well. Not well. Not whale. Oh, I, I did it. I'm sorry. Ooh, Fortress Wall gets another attack. Yes! Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay. Aqua Dragon's the one that needs more attacks. He's kind of just there. And he already used this one item, so... Yeah, he's really kind of just there. Oh, good. You have red medicine. Heal up the troops. Oh, shit. Here we go. My name is Gaia, and I am looking for a master to serve. You are the resistance, are you not? I must see if you are worthy to earn my eternal loyalty. And there is only one way to find out. We must fight. I'm not going to lie, guys. This is one of the hardest enemies in the game. Like, send your best troops. They are level 99. I'm not joking. Yep, and they have Poly! Oh, God. Of course they do if he has Curse of Dragon. Level 99, level 99, level 99. My only tip to you is kill the Gaia as quickly as possible. But my troops have a weakness. I have, like, no healers. So I could kill Gaia, and then I could be just dead after that. I mean, I do have Dark Magician Girl. She has a healing item, but it's not the best. And they do freaking 500 damage. Oh, thank God he waited. Spiral, okay. How well does Dark Magician take it? This is the strongest enemy. 500. Shit, he does 500. Okay. We need to kill Gaia as quickly as possible before fusion happens. If you do not kill Gaia, you lose the fight. Because Gaia is your only way to win this fight, in my opinion. Murky burning! In all, uh, all honesty, you just need to kill one of... Oh, God. I thought he would poly. I swear to God, I thought he would poly. Because he's not holding the polymerization, I think they're they're cool. They're going to be chill and just let me pull this off. And I just lose my only healer. I just lost my only healer. If Celtic Guardian... Uh, Celtic Guardian's been waiting a long time. Oh, my God. Celtic Guardian, please... Oh, my God. They got another attack before I could get Celtic Guardian. I couldn't... St oh, I'm going to lose. I'm going to fucking lose. I lost my only healer. And they still have a million attacks left. Even if I spend the rest of my turns guarding, they can break it. They do over 500 damage. Ugh. <sighs> I'm going to get a million points for killing Gaia, but I can't survive. Unless they guard. All right, just guard. It's the, it's the only thing we can do. Hopefully they don't aim at Kel to have the Kel to guardian. Oh, no, they didn't. They broke my guard, though. 100%. Even though I have a good guard stat, it's not going to be enough. Yep, they broke it. They're level 99, guys. 
Um, we could try going after one Curse of Dragon, and then maybe if we get a crit, we'll have a chance. No. No, we will not. Dark Magician's dead. I couldn't guard. I only got one guard off. Yep, we already lost. They have too many flames. No! Oh, you know what? I should give Dying Keto the Cure Master to someone else. To someone on this team. If I guard, they have six attacks, I lose. I have to get a crit. It's the only way. I have to get a crit, and it still wouldn't win me the fight. Like, look at this. I have a million points, but it doesn't make a difference, because I can't survive. This is our first loss of the Let's Play, everybody. It's depressing, but it happened on face-off. Damn it! Oh! Yep. You know what? Yugi's team, it just isn't tanky enough. Yugi's team is just too weak. They could kill enemies really fast, but the enemies are too strong. Level 99. And that's a complete wipe. So this is a failed episode. I'll probably put this and the successful episode together. God damn it. Or I might just make this its own. Nah, it wasn't that long, but damn it. Guy of the Fierce Knight, too strong. Our forces are falling apart. We can't keep fighting. So that's going to be it for this. I'll see you right now and bye bye hey there everybody we are back to where we were basically when we were fighting these troops before i'm gonna i sent some other people to get experience this time around um i'm gonna send my valentine to go take this base over here i think that'll that'll be a good use of our time and let's see if yugi i'm gonna give him another attempt i know yugi is probably the worst choice because i i'm sure i have stronger people but yugi is the one that hits the hardest honestly and I know he's not the tankiest guy in the world, but he's my best bet. So let's try this again. I, I got different healing items this time. Mm. And my opponent starts off the on onslaught. That sucks. All right, Celtic Guardian. If we could kill Gaia, the rest of this becomes easy. Just kill Gaia and then heal. And it looks like I'm going to need to... Oh, we got lucky. Holy crap, did we get lucky. That's a miss. Okay. A miss in this fight is one of the most important things. Okay, we got another hit. That sucks. 500. Yep, yep. That does suck. Um, we're tanky enough. We could take one more. We could take one more. All right. Murky Burning. We need to take Gaia out. And then we're going to heal. 470. Pretty good. Dark Magician, you have no heals. All you are damage. You have to kill. Come on. Crit, 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 crit. No. 421, he's so close to death. That guy guarded. Oh, lucky day. Lucky day. With that, we could actually kill Gaia. And with Gaia done, okay. Now it's the Curse of Dragons. They could be a problem. The one on the left is not guarding right now. But I'm going to use a Dying Keto the Cure Master. One of the ones we bought in the previous mission. And we're just going to be full health. Because if they both targeted Cur uh, one of my monsters, they would have done a thousand damage. Not counting her. She would have been fine. But now she doesn't have a heal, so yeah, she's a little bit in trouble. We're going to kill off the Curse of Dragon on the left. See if that'll help us out. When there's only one of them left, that'll make me feel a lot safer. But they're tankier than Gaia for some reason. Alright, Dark Magician's taking a hit. He can take it, he can take it. Okay, and Dark Magician's taking two hits. He can't take it, he can't take it. Um, I need Celtic Guardian, he's my only other healer! Holy shit! Yeah, Dying Keto the Cure Master! So one miss and one crit. I think that crit makes up for their one miss. And that's it. That's all the heals I have. The only thing we could do now is try to kill one of them off so that all they have is one left. I have no Monster Aborns, no heals. Dark Magician Girl, go. This fight is very doable if we can kill one of these Curse of Dragons off. Oh, so close. We are so... She gets two attacks in a row, but she needs a crit. Come on, crit. I don't know why she got two attacks in a row. Oh, 13, 17 health. Are you kidding me? All right. With 17 HP, that breaks my heart. No crit that time. And Shadow Flame again. Dark Magician is the only one at risk. So his final turns will be guard. Or his final turn. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. I can't have him guard. I need him to kill that dragon off. I'm going to lose Dark Magician. This is intentional. In order to guarantee victory, I will lose Dark Magician. 
Celtic Guardian can try and help. But Yugi is done, okay? This is the only thing Yugi's doing today. Literally nothing left in his in the tank. Alright, let's see. Curse of Dragon kills off Dark Magician, which means my points are going to drop. I mean, his points are going to go way up, but I got 26,000, so I feel like I'm a real tough guy. Um, Shadow Flame goes after who now? Dark Magician Girl, yep. That was your final attack, so as long as it doesn't get a crit, I will be okay. Yes, okay. And I can't kill you, but I can make myself feel better by slashing you. Alright guys, we have won the fight. We lost Dark Magician, but we have won the fight. Dark Magician, despite dying, still gets experience because the enemies were level 99. Holy crap, we're over leveled now. Alright, good, good fight, good fight. Good, holy shit. That was a horrifying fight. I now understand the power of the resistance. I would like to fight alongside you. Please accept my loyal service. We have Gaia the Fierce Knight, and Yugi will no longer be participating in this battle. Thank you, but no. Um, let's go ahead and start checking out our forces. Did they get stuck on each other? They totally got stuck on each other. All right. My Valentine, continue on. Go take on that force. Um, you heal up. You're going to be used again. Now that Dark Magician's out of the picture, we're going to need you. Because the enemy still has powerful forces. Mako, you take to the sea in case enemies respawn. And Bakora, the rest of... Oh wait, do the other bases have guards as well? Do you have a... Do, no guards. Okay. Oh, healing base. So I have to kill them quickly. I'm probably going to send Bakora to that far base. And then I'm going to send... I think I had Joey take it this time. Yeah. Joey's going to go out to this other base. So... Ah, shit. Didn't have time. Two dark witches and a slot machine. Okay. Interesting forces for my Valentine to take on. We have... Mai's our strongest troop. Uh, Mai was stronger than Yugi. I should have let Mai... Well, Mai's HP is not as strong, though. I should have let Mai do it either way. All right. They have nothing. Not even abilities. Okay, good. Good. So, strongest force they have is the slot machine. Let's kill it. Our goal is kill slot machine. All right. Scratching Crusher 2. Yep, I could hear it. It's pretty sickening. It feels really good to get Guy the Fierce Knight. No, we are not going to get a level 99 Guy the Fierce Knight as much as I would want one. You would hope that they would game would just give you one since you killed a level 99. But that's not the case. So yeah, that's one of the hardest things to do in this game is getting that freaking Guy the Fierce Knight to join you. Um, Yugi usually could do it for me, but the fact that I needed two heals just to make that possible. And two of the best heals in the game. Luckily, I bought them on the mission previous, or the previous mission. If I hadn't done that, we'd be in, we'd be screwed. I'd have to use like someone else like Mai to do it, and I would have felt bad doing that. I think Yugi's the one that should be the one to take out Gaia, because he's the one that well, I guess Grandpa is, but Gaia is, Yugi's the one that made Gaia popular. And I like Gaia the Fierce Knight. I used a Gaia the Fierce Knight deck in Master Duels um, during my Let's Play of it. It was really good. It was like the only duel of the deck that would win me uh in my win me duels and subscriber duels. All right, Midgar Volt. That sucks. Yeah, my team is way too strong. Like, her her team is just busted. How, how do you stop her? She has like a million attacks. Midgar Volt again. And this isn't even my at her strongest. She gets stronger. You just have to be patient. She's going to get stronger. Okay, they've been bullying one of my harpies more than the other. It's kind of rude. Let's see if I can rip her wings off. I can! Yay! Now there's only one pest to think about. Sorry, Kaiba, your troops are falling. Gaia was the strongest thing out here, and that wasn't even Kaiba's. That was just some random dude. Alright, I know she's guarding, but we can break it. 17... I think she has, what? 1700 defense? That's nothing. Harpy's Pet Dragon has 2000 attack. Bo okay, we barely broke it, but we broke it. There, rip off her wings. You just need to get both harpies on each wing, and then they just pull these separate directions. That's all we need. And the dragon can eat the remains. I got very gru- That was a little gruesome. I, I'm apologizing. That was rude. Shouldn't have said that. A little too gro- little too, A little too grotesque for this channel. And my Valentine hits level 18. She's only low level because I have not been using her because she's too busted. Like, I've been holding her back, honestly. Alright, and she took the area. So now I'm going to send her out because she's so busted she's going to probably take two. Um, let me see here. I didn't get to do what I wanted to do. Dark Magician, you are going to take on this area over here. 
And why is there just a... Is there a glitch? Like, there's just a line on my screen? No, they were waiting for that guy to get out of his way. Mako Tsunami. He's going to hold the sea for us. It's important. Run! Hurry, Simon! Mako will crush you! Onsatsu. Teya Onsatsu. Okay, we're going to let Onsatsu move out. He's super fast, little dude. Look at this guy. All right, blue medicine up your team. Is Fortress Will pushing the other guy? It looks like he's trying to push him to make him move faster. Ansatsu, you move in, because now that I'm not using Yugi, we're going to have some real trouble against Kaiba. Because this this game, we still have to fight Kaiba. All right, maybe I, I let our, our other member do it. Maybe I let Joey Wheeler step up to the plate. All right, Joey, you move over here for now. We're moving all of our troops into position. If any of the enemies respawn, I'm going to let Mako Tsunami deal with them in the ocean, if possible. And uh, that should be good enough. Yeah, look at look at Joey and his red eyes. He's so happy. Look at you. Mako is in the sea. He's never in the sea. He's so happy to be there. And you are a little injured. Yeah, we have blue medicines. You can just blue medicine up. We don't need to worry about it. All right, you will take on this base right here. If it's too strong, we have Joey to back you up. Um, you will take on this base right here. And if it's too strong, we'll have um, my back you up. Now let's heal up and heal up. Perfect. And then I just realized those bases have healers. So if I send Yugi to one of those bases, then Yugi can be healed. That would be really good. So Yugi, I'm going to send you to one of these bases to get healed. And that's a Thunder Dragon, a Serpent Night Dragon, and a Curse of Dragon. Okay. A Kaiba Monster, a Rex Raptor Monster, and a Yugi Monster. Why is that Yugi Monster at half health? I haven't even been here. Why, why is it at half health? Is that a glitch? Wait, why is it so strong? Why is it level 99? Why is it level 99 and why is it at half health? What is going on here? Kill it. Kill the level 99. Error. Critical hit because I'm fighting a dragon. Yes, Bakora is good against dragons. Okay. Why is the level 99 Curse of Dragon that we killed in the lake in the base right now? Who the hell brought him here? All right. Thunder Dragon's useless. Uh, just finish that guy off. All right. Level 99. That means we're going to get a lot of experience from this. Look at this. Look at this. That guy was level 99. We already won the fight. I don't need to, co I don't need to continue. Serpent Night Dragon is not that bad of a monster. It's actually pretty damn decent. I'm not going to buy. Uh, I'm going to cut it in half, though. 2350 attack with 2400 defense in this game is pretty damn decent. Nothing wrong with that. And uh, rip him in half. Those crits are nice. It's nice to get guaranteed crits against dragons. And there we go. I bet you Thunder Dragon counts as a dragon in this game. We're about to find out, because I'm going to let my guy Misty Ninja slash him. It's like, but he's a thunder monster. No, he's not. That's a dragon right there. Watch. He's got dragon. He's got dragon's blood in him. That's right. That's a dragon. You get one shock blast. Let's see what it looks like. Looks like Midgar Volt. Too weak. All right. Go ahead and spectral mist him. Bakora has done great. Honestly great. He's gotten so much experience from all these enemies. And the level 99 is going to boost him up by a lot. Does that mean the other guy also has a level 99 Curse of Dragon at half health? Because that'd be really weird. Illusionary Gentleman gets another... He doesn't need any more attacks. He doesn't need any more. Panther Warrior gets another. He doesn't need any more. Bakora's team is becoming one of my most busted teams. Just because they have a million attacks. All right, Mai. You could just go to base because we turns out we don't need you. Mako remains in the sea for now. He will be at the edge of the sea looking at uh, Kaiba. Ready to fight. Oh, more dragons. Okay, no Curse of Dragon. We got Paradragon, Harpy's Pet Dragon, and in the middle we have a Seyaru. So we have Paradragon, Pegasus Monster, Seyaru, Bandit Keith Monster, and uh, Harpy's Pet Dragon, which is a My Valentine Monster. Sadly, I don't think... Oh, wait! Dark Magician hit level 10 when I was uh, taking a base. Does that mean he has the... He has the ability now? Hold up. Please tell me he has the ability now. No! He doesn't get Night Adept. Damn it. Well, he's not going to work too well on this team, but, you know, he still does a lot of damage, so we'll take advantage of that. Let's get Harpy's Pet Dragon out of here. Plus, his laser beam's badass. I'm not going to... Oh, my God! That did that was a crit. 
That was a, I, I couldn't tell, but that was a crit. Based on how much damage we just did, that was insane. Honestly, I should probably check my opponents to make sure they don't have Night Adept. Some of these dragons might. Not Seyaru, though. He uses Shining Plasma. Alright, let's see how much. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. I admit, I admit it. A lot of damage. Mountain, Mountain. Mountain makes more sense for dragons, so we're going to Violet Crystal up, you know, buff our two troops. That way, Zombie Warrior does actual damage and my Dark Elf does insane damage. I just wish my Dark Magician would get a buff, too. Now, let's see. Insane damage of Magic Cannon. Can you keep up with Dark Magician stats? Yes, you can. 100%. And Sayaru, you're wide open, so take this. Yeah, to be, fun, to be fair, that little pink dragon in the middle, that one has 2,500 attack. That's an actual good monster from back in the day. It's Bandit Keith's monster when he fought Yugi when he was mind-controlled by Merrick. It's, uh, I guess it was to replace Zoa, because Zoa didn't appear in that episode. Um, do I have a heal? I have only a blue medicine. Alright, blue medicine up. They've been bullying you. As much as I want you to do damage, I, I can't let you die in the process. And guarding with you kind of sucks, because your defense stat is, er is terrible. In fact, the only one with good defense here is D Dark Magician, and uh, he's out of moves, so he can't defend himself anymore. Shining Plasma. And I'm glad I healed. That could have been bad. That could, have, that could have been very bad. All right. Paradragon's the only one with an attack left. The rest of my guys can survive the attacks. So let's just kill them all off. Yeah. And then I think uh, Simon's done for the day. He's done too much work. There we go. Ooh, wiped out. And for some reason, he skipped his turn. You might not want to do that. I might kill you. Skipping your turn is very dangerous. Although my zombie warrior is extremely weak. Like, I only use him to buff the team, honestly, and sometimes heal. He is not very good at attacking. Like, I don't even know if he could break Paradragon's Guard. Let's find out. He can barely break it. Okay, I appreciate that he can break it, though. That's pretty cool. And I appreciate Paradragon not attacking me. That was very nice of him. Ooh, 40 HP left? That's a shame. Even my Skull Warrior, or my Zombie Warrior can beat you. I keep saying, wanting to say Skull Servant because he fuses with Skull Servant and Battle Warrior to make Zombie Warrior, but damn it. Alright, Dark Magician gets another attack, which he desperately needs. Thank God. Like, honestly, thank God. That, that, thing, that thing needs more attacks. Alright. Enemy base taken. So, all that's left is the man himself. You know what? Do you think he could take on Mako? <laughs> it's like, do you? I was thinking Joey, but maybe Mako can do it. Joey Wheeler. Mako Tsunami, you stay in the ocean where you belong. You're, 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 you're strong here. And my Valentine. With Yugi out of commission, I'm going to leave this up to you. Yugi's a little tired after taking out the guy of the Fierce Knight. If this were a race, Red Eyes would lose by a million, because look at this. Harpy Lady's probably the fastest monster in the game. That, yeah, that's probably the fastest. Even faster than Ansatsu. She could do a whole lap around the base before, like, Red Eyes gets there. You know what? Screw it. Mai, you do it. Joey's taking too long. Kaiba, let's see if you could take on my Valentine. You guys never got to duel before, so we don't actually know how that battle would go. Triple blue eye. Yep, I should have known. Triple fucking blue eyes. They didn't give him weaker troops. They gave him every... Holy Jesus. Oh, the music's kicked in. They have, they all have Polly. They have Ibris, Azrael, and J -J -B 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 -B. I actually is that a J or an I, or no? That's a J. Jabril, Jabril. Yeah, these are just three blue eyes. Um, the weakest one is the one on the left. So let's try to kill him. Harpy ladies versus blue eyes. They are unbelievably strong. They all have over two thousand HP. How does Kaiba... Why Why is Kaiba working for Scott when he has stats like these? He doesn't even need to work for Scott. Harpy's Pet Dragon, go. With this, we're going to force a polymerization, but they have three polymerizations. So, that's not good. But if we could kill off one Blue Eyes, they can't fuse anymore. Destructive Burst Stream, no! It's called Blue... Uh, wait, that's not what it's called. Destructive Burst Stream. Yeah, you miss because that's not what it's called. Wait and Destructive Burst Stream. You really don't want to use your fusion on me. 
You don't want to show the crowd Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon? Because I don't want to see it personally. I know the fans do. But I don't want to see it. It'll just straight up kill me. So I'm going to kill you before that can happen. Alright, 479. If I could just get off my, my Harpy's Pet Dragon. They no! We missed! Oh, that's a problem. We need a crit, and we need it now. Go! Come on, Harpy. Damn it. That miss is gonna... Yep, that miss cost us. Everyone gets what they wanted. It's the Fusion Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. It has... It, uh, what? It, it, it has 10 attacks. And it has the healing ability. Armor, Super Stamina, and Status Guard. I, I don't even know what this... Armor, it's Strong Defense, helps lessen damage from enemy attacks. Oh, God. It's Super Stamina, allows it to automatically restore life points. Oh, God. It resists all bad status changes. Oh, God. A level 40 Red Eyes just stares us down. Guard. Just guard. There's no way we win this. No, we, we don't stand a chance. We can't beat a Blue Eyes Ultimate. My Valentine doesn't stand a chance right now. Ultimate Burst! Oh! And he's gonna break someone's guard. She was guarding. She was guarding. How much How much does it do? It does 160 after the guard. It's guard. It's guard. We can't, we can't beat him. You skip your turn, Harpy, Pet Dragon. We need you to heal our team. He's guarding. You dick. Fine, I will wait. I want to see how much you can actually do to me. I'm not, honestly, I'm just waiting for his uh, thing to run out. How much do you do to our strongest member? Harvey's Pet Dragon can take the hits the best. <laughs> that was like 700? Okay. Okay. That's a problem. Um, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Heal all you want. We're going to try and kill you. How much damage can we do to him? We can't even do 500. We can't... Are, are you telling me his armor is that thick? This fusion's armor is that thick? I can't even break through the armor? Die! Ugh. How much do you heal per turn, by the way? Because I just did, like, 900 damage to you. In total. You heal 150. Okay, that's not too bad. Ultimate Busto! Alright, she's my weakest member, so if she dies, we're in trouble. Ooh, she's one attack away from death. Go! Get him, Harpy! Kill the Blue Eyes Ultimate! It'll be a hell of a story to tell. My Valentine beats Blue Eyes Ultimate in a fight. 1v1, a 1v3. Although it's technically a 3v3. Come on! I need all the attacks to kill him, but I won't survive if I do all the attacks. She needs to be healed. I hate it, but she has to be. That His armor's too thick. I can't kill it. His heal's too good. His armor's too thick. Maybe if I had never guarded, but even if I had never guarded, it wouldn't have gone any better. Wow, I'm winning this fight. I'm actually winning this fight. As long as I don't lose a member, we can win this. All right, cut it. Cut him. There we go. He's 500, almost 500 damage with her. She's our strongest member. And Harpy's Pet Dragon's going to be forced to heal himself. Wow, he's getting really low, though. Fuck heals. We're doing it. We're going to try and kill this guy. It might take a crit to do it, but we're going to try. Okay, he guard. You bitch! Oh, he's out of heals! His turns... He's out of healing turns. Ultimate Bustle! Ah! Wait! He used his Z-move! His Z-move hits every enemy! No! Everyone's almost dead. He could do that one more time. It costs two action points. Oh my god. Kill him. Someone get a crit. His armor has to have broken by now. How much damage? Oh, it's not... It... I... Uh, it's so, It's gonna be so close. If he ultimate burst, my's wiped. No! He was so close. Ultimate burst. We're dead. This is the ultimate attack. My Valentine is out of here. Wait! One of her members lived! And we lost the fight. By how much? Oh, it keeps going. Yeah. We lost the fight. My run. My run for the hills. You, you, 
one of your members just barely takes the hit. You just you just barely take red eye. Joey, help my for the love of God, help my. Stay in the mountains, my. That's where you're strongest. Do not move. Do not even if you sneeze, you die. Do not even no no an enemy respawn. Damn it, an enemy respawn within that much time. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm gonna need more support. Mako, get out of the ocean. I'm gonna need more support. God damn it, Joey, take out the enemy. I can't believe an enemy respawned. Which one is it? It's the Ki I killed him so quickly. But Cora just wiped him. He did- Okay. It's okay. But we can't fight Blue as ultimate again. Like, that- that thing is so scary and so goddamn strong. Alright, Joey. This is why we needed Yugi. Yugi can do it. My Valentine was technically our strongest member and she got- Oh, she lived barely. She barely survived the fight. She will live to tell the tale. Shadow Mega Flare. This move doesn't do that much damage, but it's enough. All right, and we're gonna Soul Spear you. Yeah, you're not the only one using a Gilshu the D Knight. I'm the strongest. Ah, crap. That guy got two attacks off already. All right, Flame Swordsman. You just gotta take the hit. I need you for... Look, this fight means nothing to me. You guys need to survive for a better reason. I hate that he's guarding, but do it. Break his guard. Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. And then, Gilsha the D-Knight, kill your brother. It must be done. Or sister. Or they... You know what? You're fused of a woman and a man. So they... they you're, you get both. All right. And he's dead. Be beautiful. Beautiful. Well, Joey, that was nice and all, but now you just showed me we are, like, really in a time... We have a time limit here before his next troop goes up. How long did it take me to kill the insect guy? I feel like it took me a while because it takes a while for that guy to come closer to us. So I have, like, two seconds to heal you while you get knocked back. Okay, heal. And then for the love of... Oh, no, no. Do we not have... Okay, we have blue medicine. Good. Heal and fight freaking Koiba. No! No, they're all respawning! God damn it! Every single enemy I've killed is respawning! Joey can't take them all! Ah, oh, you bitch. Dark Fireball, we're gonna run out of heals that we need for freaking Koiba! My Valentine was the only one fast enough to get there before his troops respawn, and she almost killed Blue Eyes! She was so close! Blue Eyes Ultimate was like 100 HP away from death, which it doesn't matter. Once the fusion is over, that all that HP he lost meant nothing. Take this, Sword Stalker. I can't believe this game. No, attack Red Eyes. He's my tank. He's got 2,000 HP. He's like level 10. He hasn't even done anything yet. All right, there we go. Screw it. Kill Red Eyes. Kill the other Red Eyes. I like that all Red Eyes look pretty much the same. Mine's just a little spikier, you know? Got a little more, a little more definition in my spikes. All right, let's see if you can one-shot him. I feel like you can do 400 damage, right? Eh, I was wrong. I was wrong. And because of this insolence, Red Eyes is going to get his last attack off. All right, so I've lost a lot of HP, which makes me unhappy. Yeah, this is what I wanted you to do: attack my freaking Red Eyes. Because watch this. Watch how tanky my Red Eyes is. Okay, that hurt. <laughs> it's like, okay, hold up. <laughs> that still did a lot, actually. Alright, Shadow Mega Flare, kill him. I can't believe all the enemies started respawning at this moment. Like, right when I was on him. Right when I was about to finish off Kaiba. I just have to kill one Blue Eyes. If you kill one Blue Eyes, it's not that hard to fight Kaiba. He's still one of the strongest enemies. But he's not that bad. Alright, Galicia, Gil, uh, Gilsha the D-Knight's good. Flame Swordsman's good. Everyone's good. I just need more. I need more power. Alright, got knocked off again. I need to heal again. This time everyone needs it. I'm almost out of medicines. Shit. I only have red now. Which I wanted to save. Okay, I just noticed Mako's on the way. <laughs> Mako, go take out Blue Eyes. Yeah, you let, let's let you do it. All right, these enemies are going to take us some damage on us because they have a lot more attacks now. Something about being around Kaiba makes them stronger. All right. Biggest threat is still that Dungeon Worm. He's the hit. Well, I mean, Insect Queen's the heaviest attacker, but Dungeon Worm's the one that gets the most. 
quantity over quality in this case. Alright. I know I need Flame Sword. Flame Swordsman's my best attacker, and I never get him. He always takes the longest to attack. Just 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 wipe out the worm. That's what that's all we need. Just get rid of the worm. Worm's dead, we can play the game now. She's guarding, so we'll just kill the Hercules Beetle. They're only at half health, so you would think this wouldn't be that big of a deal. But, like, it's the fact that Kaibo's right there, and I can't get to him, because his troops have respawned at the last second. And because the troops knock us back even if we win, that means we can't instantly fight Kaiba, because then they have five seconds to respawn, basically. And that's exactly the amount of time they needed. Alright, try to break her guard. If I need heals after this, it's gonna it's gonna cost me. Flame Swordsman's the only one. He could take on the Queen if he has to. Yep, Flame Swordsman's the only one that really needs a heal. I'm glad she doesn't get one more attack. That Insect Queen with one more attack would be a problem. And can can my Flame Swordsman get an attack off, please? He's the one that kills people. Like, I love Red Eyes, but I don't have any items for him. Flaming War Sword. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. It actually is the Red Eyes that kills people. Because he decided to miss. <sighs> okay. Now all the troops are dead. Can Joey deal with Koiba? All right. Is that a deal? Is that a deal? Joey has gone to level 20 for crying out loud. He has extra attack on all, uh, extra attack strength on all of his troops now. Okay? Do you understand this? I'm sad that that's all he gets. He, he doesn't get any extra health or extra attack points. Just just attack strength, which makes sense. Oh my god, Mako's going to do it. Mako's going to freaking do it, isn't he? He's going to beat Joey there. Oh my god, Mako's the one that's going in. He's going to die. We're sending in the we're sending in the whale. I I I bet you, I I bet you he's just going to instant fuse. Okay, this is a problem, because the whale can't kill off Blue Eyes. The Blue Eyes is at 400 HP and the whale can't kill him. I need one extra attack other than this one. Please. <gasps> Octoburser, my best attacker! Kill him! Ah! <laughs> kill Harpoon the Blue Eyes! Oh, thank God, Mako Tsunami can do it. Mako, kill him! Screw Blue Eyes White Dragon! He may be the coolest card ever, but he needs to be dead. Now die. Destructive Burst Stream. See, that's nowhere near as bad as Ultimate Burst. Alright. Okay, actually, that's still like 500 damage. My god. <laughs> it's like, whoa. That's that's more than I was expecting. Eh. Throw a spear at you. Take this, Koiba. I could do 500 damage. Look how strong I am. There we go. Put a little water on your screens. Put on your 3D glasses and your ponchos. Ponchos, I mean. <laughs> ponchos? What the hell is that? Put on your ponchos. Alright. Whale hail. Does four times damage because it's ice. And he's guarding now, which is the smart play. Yeah, it really sucks that Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon doesn't exist yet, doesn't it? Because now you can't fuse anymore despite having the polymerizations. And honestly, I'm just going to break your guard because I'm tired of your shit. Yeah, Mako Tsunami is here to save the day. When Yugi was tired and knocked out, it took Mako Tsunami to do the job. When my Valentine gets killed by Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, almost, she lived, uh, it takes Mako Tsunami to save the day. Well, honestly, though, he's almost out of attacks and the enemy still has a lot of attacks left, which puts me in a very bad position. Very bad. That's the one I'm trying to kill. Okay, at least they're attacking Fortress Will. Fortress Will takes hits. That's his one job, is to take these hits. Octoburser. Okay, Octo Dragon's pretty tanky too. It's just Octoburser. That's my little guy. I don't want him taking hits. Like, at all. Alright, get rid of one of the blue eyes. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> just throw that little spear. Whale hail! Fortress Will, take out blue eyes! Yeah. I know you need like 700 extra attack to make this happen, but we cheated. And he's guarding with his last turn, so that's fine. Okay, now he attacks with his second last turn. And unless it's a crit, Aqua Dragon should be able to take that. 
35 HP. <laughs> he barely took it. Yeah. Get him, Mako. Get him. Yeah. And hopefully no more troops respawn. Because Mako needs a break now. Mako took a shit ton of damage taking out those blue eyes. Oh, he gets extra. Yeah, that's Mako's thing. He gets extra HP for his team. So Joey's attack, Mako's HP, Yugi's everything. Yugi gets freaking everything. He's busted. Attack points is my mostly. She's busted too. Attack points is the best thing ever. Okay, Ma Mako, you 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 need a break. You you dis desperately need a break. Joey, end this goddamn battle. This has been the hardest fight so far. This has been the hardest episode. Red eyes die. Red eyes kill blue eyes. Eh. All right, very good. There we go. And he's going to get one attack off. It's sad that even a Red-Eyes Black Metal Dragon is still 200 points weaker than just a base Blue Eyes. It's like he has a full transformation, and he's still weaker than just a Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's, it's, it's the saddest thing ever. But Flame Swords was not. Ha! <laughs> Take him out! And Kaiba is done for. This has been an extremely desperate and tough mission. But we pulled it off. We pulled it off. I need to look in the video from me four years ago. I need to see uh, how I... Did I just send in my to take uh, down Gaia? Is that what happened? I probably did that. Oh, I've lost! Kaiba, neither of us wanted this fight. There's something else influencing you, isn't there? Hmm. I could feel your pain as we fought. You cannot hide it with your words. I never thought I'd be the one that laughed a cool head. All right, I'll tell you everything. Scott has kidnapped a guy, kid brother Mokuba. No shit. What? Scott has some kind of strange power in this world. He took Mokuba's, Mokuba's soul, of course, and blackmailed me. He said that I had to defeat you if I ever wanted to get Mokuba back. Now that I've lost, Mokuba will be lost forever. Maybe not. Don't give up yet, Kaiba. Scott's been trying to make us suffer by creating a situation that would lead to extremely brutal battles. I'm not sure what his plan is yet, but as long as you're alive, he's bound to try and use you again. When he does, it should provide the chance I need to go rescue Mokuba. And Kaiba agrees. <laughs> that was a desperate mission. That was insane. But next episode shall be banishment. Let's see. We are at Sith Varthus. This is the place. Having defeated Kaiba, Yugi presses towards the capital of Sith Varthus. Without Kaiba, Scott is forced to take charge of his own forces and face Yugi on the battlefield. The curtain is rising on the battle that will determine everything. This is the fight to determine everything, guys. And we will be doing it next episode. See you all then.